Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're going to be talking about what to consider when building a school auditorium sound system. All right, so when you're looking at uh, building a sound system for your school auditorium, there's a lot of factors we need to consider, things we need to think through, info we need to know to really be able to put together the ide ideal system solution for you. Uh, the first thing to consider is going to be the acoustics or the uh, layout of your space. So basically, there's lots of different shapes and sizes of rooms, you know, everything from kind of the more traditional fan-shaped auditorium, you know, with lots of different sections of seating, uh, sometimes three, sometimes six, sometimes a balcony, sometimes not. Uh, you know, we have to kind of take into consideration, um, you know, what the space is laid out like, or do we have a more traditional cafetorium that we see a lot of in smaller elementary type schools? You know, a stage built into a one wall and then uh, a lower drop tile ceiling throughout the space where the kids are kind of seated for lunch and things like that. Uh, that obviously needs a lot different type of speaker, um, so that leads us into our next uh, thing to consider, speaker placement. Where are we going to put the speakers? Um, that is kind of informed by the layout. You know, if we have a more traditional uh, theater uh, with proscenium, uh, we may want to do a center cluster up high, whereas if we have a cafetorium, we can't do a center cluster because we have a lower ceiling. And we also need to make sure that we throw sound all the way to the back where a student may be very, very far away from the stage, but still need to hear the announcements at the, uh, at the assembly or that kind of thing. Uh, we use um, this type of configuration a lot in the cafetoriums, you know, with something like a point source speaker, uh, like the Pure Resonance Audio P110, uh, kind of on each side of the stage to kind of give it that uh, more traditional um, audio reinforcement type feel. And then also maybe distribute some in-ceiling speakers like our SD4 arrays from Pure Resonance Audio uh, that we might use to throw sound towards the back. Um, so once again, the concept here is that the speaker placement is going to be informed by what the space looks like. Uh, that also kind of can be influenced by the sound reinforcement. Uh, how loud do we need this to be? Is this just for assemblies in a cafetorium? Or are we doing full on um, you know, music performances with lots of microphones, uh, that kind of thing. Your main, uh, your main auditorium, if we're going to be hosting any nationally touring artists that may come through, you know, that have an extensive writer, we're, um, you know, on their contract that needs specific kinds of speakers, we need to know that information pretty early on to know what kind of sound system we need to build there. So, from there we can analyze what microphones do we need, how many wired or wireless mics do you want. Um, in the case of the school cafetorium, sometimes we want to hang down, um, hanging choir microphones down from the ceiling so that we can make sure and pick up the uh, ensembles and things like that. Or we might need a podium microphone or um, even, you know, wireless microphones, lots of headsets for kids and performances, that kind of thing. You know, we need to kind of figure out that aspect of it a little bit early on. Uh, which then informs what kind of mixer do we need? Are we looking at just an easy to use rack mount mixer, something super simple? Uh, or do we need a more complicated digital mixer in order to process all these microphones? From there, we may also need to connect or integrate uh, things like uh, video players or recording devices or uh, the audio from the projector. Um, or we may need to be able to distribute sound throughout the space into like uh, the backstage areas. Uh, things like that are important to know uh, early on in the process because it'll inform what we need to build and uh, how we need to put it all together. Uh, from there, we also need to focus on accessibility. Um, you know, many of these spaces may have uh, ADA or American with Disabilities Act uh, requirements that we need. So we may need an assisted listening system. Um, so it's important to kind of factor that in. Uh, and with all these factors, this is all going to influence the bottom line or the budget. Um, you know, some school auditoriums and larger schools may have a budget of several million dollars, whereas other may, others may need to do, get something done for $1,500 or $2,000. We've got a variety of options available, uh, but it's always important to factor in all these different um, uh, components that we're putting together and how we want it all to work. Uh, so remember that at the end of the day, every auditorium is a little bit different and unique. So we want to kind of tailor the sound system to meet that space. Drop us a like down below. Let us know you're watching and let, let me know if we can help with anything else. Once again, I'm Nathan and on to the next one, guys.